This week on The Fish Guys. If you could keep this fish, we would seven have tacos. tacos. Red grouper, 17 tacos. Oh, that one hit the deck. I gotta keep that one. No, let him go. He's fine. You can't eat everything. Not everything. I don't need to eat tacos. everything. I just need to eat something. That's a lot of tacos, dude. That, my friend, is going to be a fish. Fish on! Got a fish on! So this morning, Lane and I decided to take a little bit of a ride about 30 minutes to the north and work some areas that we haven't in a while. And with the weather conditions, we're definitely gonna fish some shorelines. We're heading up north of Key Largo to Biscayne Bay. About eight to 10 feet deep, the water up there. You get a lot of flow in from the Atlantic Ocean, some major creeks moving in, but it's a real diverse ecosystem up there. So this creek, this little location, it's perfect conditions with the wind at our back and we're able to make nice, easy, long casts into the creek mouth. It's just perfect for the conditions. In this area of Biscayne Bay, catch a variety of species. Grouper, snapper, possibly even tarpon, snook. It's a very diverse area. Well, fishing these creek mouths where that flow is going in there with the wind pushing it in, we can use these small pilchards with either jig heads or circle hooks to target these snook. And I guarantee you, there's lots of snappers and jacks that hang in the same spot. What do you got? Snappers? Snapper. Yeah, they're gonna be biting. That's Mr. Mangrove. That's a nice snapper. one there. We joke about eating fish all the time, but realistically, we do practice a lot of catch and release. Sure you don't wanna keep them? Hey, I'm letting him go. You can't eat everything. Not everything. I don't need to eat everything. I just need to eat something. I can't help it, all right? All I see is tacos when I'm catching fish. Here's a cast, all right? It's going to hit the water, and it hit the water. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. Man, they are hitting fast. You can't even count to three seconds before the rod bends over with the fish on. Oh, that one hit the deck. I got to keep that no, one. No, let him go. He's fine. No, he's hurt. Look, he's not he hurt. Keep, he's barely moving. All right, if you can stick your finger in his mouth and he doesn't bite you, you can keep him. George. What? Doesn't it feel good to let him go? No. <laughs> not really. No. I'm not really hungry for fish right at this moment, but later I could be. Look, put, put your tackle where it belongs. You know what I do, Lane? I roll them in taco seasoning before I cook them. Right out of the package, taco seasoning, corn tortilla, Little pico de gallo. Good stuff right there. Not everything is a taco, George. That's not true. You know George by now, he likes to eat. Most fishermen, they measure a fish by how many pounds it is. George, he measures how many tacos he gets out of a fish. How about that, That's my friend? That's a nice fish. That's two tacos. In my mind, fish tacos are the perfect food. That's 12 tacos, at least. Yeah, I do have an obsession with fish tacos. That's a bunch more tacos. Boy, there's nothing better than a fish taco. You know, literally, you can get four tacos out of one of these. It never fails. George, he's always comparing every fish to a taco count. The Fish Guys are being brought to you by Wellcraft, built by fishermen for fishermen and their families. Tough Coat. Tough Coat Marine for the world's number one non-skid coating for boats, decks, and docks. Jefferson's Bourbon. Transform corn to get bourbon. Transform bourbon, get Jefferson's. Tackle Webs. Instant gear storage. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. 
Captains George and Lane are fishing in North Key Largo on Biscayne Bay. They are working a creek in the mangroves and are landing the fish. As a guide, we like to have fun. But part of being a guide is finding fish on your days off for future clientele, the change of seasons. It's part of the job of being a top-notch guide here in the Florida Keys. The snook, like the snook. Got a snook, bud. Catching all these snappers is fun. But when you get a snook on the line, it's game on. That fish is coming out of the water, and it's time to get busy. I got a snook. If you could keep this fish, we would seven let him go. tacos. We'd let him go. You could make seven tacos no, out of them. No, we're not making tacos. We let the fish go. You could make four big fish burritos. Or enchiladas are good, too. Just let them go. I'm going to let them go. Plenty. I'm just admiring the fish for a minute. Line thinking, cider. thinking about how tasty these are. They're not I don't keep many. Eat chicken. Chicken's I do. Good I make chicken you. tacos. Eat chicken. Well, and this is your snapper hole. It's not a snapper hole. Yeah, every time I take you to one of my little secret spots, we call it that because we catch snappers there. We catch snook. We caught jacks. You call it a jack hole. You jack hole. <laughs> Most of the fish that we caught today were definitely legal size. Look at that, man. Look at how girthy they are in the middle. But today, <laughs> Lane doesn't want me to put anything in the cool. I told George it's important for us to let fish go. Here in Monroe County, we can keep five snapper per person over 10 inches. But you know what? We don't have to keep fish every time we go out. It's important to protect the fisheries for future generations. Hey, I might have a snapper. Another beautiful one, though. It really is. It's a shame you're on that no fish eating diet right now. Really? What the heck is a no fish diet? I want to take some of these fish, put them in the cooler, and then take them back for Bobby and we'll grill them. Another pretty snapper. Have you not noticed that you blocked the entire bow of the boat? I'm not blocking anything. You're standing on that side of the boat and your rod's on my side of the boat. We're on a 24-foot well craft. We could be on a 40-foot sport fisherman. And you know what? George would still deliberately get in my way. You are allowed to stand on that side of the boat. I don't deliberately get in Lane's way. I don't get in anybody's way, OK? But it does agitate him a little bit, and I know that. Oh, yeah. But if I have a fish on, I'm moving him out of my way. You don't even bother me. I'm so excited right now and having so much fun. I don't care how big fish are, some days it's just fun catching them. What a fun morning. Caught a boatload of snapper. Now we're heading out to some deeper water, see if we can't catch some bigger fish. We're out in 10 feet of water, mainly all grass and sandy bottom, but we found a little bit of structure. I mean, it could come off the bottom a foot, two feet, three feet, could be anything out of the ordinary, but the fish need a place to hide, and this makes the perfect place. So now we're away from the shoreline, we're out in the middle of the bay. Maybe, just maybe, Lane will let me keep one this time. Fish out! Old Spanish mackerel? Little Spanish mac. Awesome. Lane, look at those teeth. Uh -huh. Bite your thumb off. Razor sharp. Cool spots on them. Yeah, fish on. What you think, mackerel, huh? I guess because they swim kind of up the side of the boat real fast, you know? But one of the fish that I enjoy hooking are mackerel. They are speed demons when you get a hook in their mouth, and they just zip line off the wheel. Nice. Look at it, Lane. Huh? That fish looks fast when it's not moving. That, you know how you get sports cars that look like they're fast? But they're just they're designed parked? to destroy things. All right, buddy. Sometimes it's really hard to get bites on other fish on the oh, bottom. There he is. Fish on. Because these mackerel are patrolling the area, swimming around 100 miles an hour. Man, this is awesome. They're eating everything that you cast out. So how do you tell the difference between Spanish, Ciro, and King mackerel? 
Well, the Ciro's have the dashes. Okay. Right, on their sides. So you see how this has all the spots? Right. Ciro's have like the long dashes. Okay. Okay, and then the Kings are more silvery and typically bigger, you know. And then, of course, you got the Wahoos, which is one of my favorites. We must be in a mackerel hole. I got one fish on. George is catching them one after the other. Look at that hook set, Lane. That's perfect. Right, I mean, pop that thing out of there. Right in his nostril. Look at it. Done. It's already out. He's not even bleeding. Not even bleeding. All right, little buddy. It's almost like trout fishing. You know, it is. They fight a little harder, pound for pound, you know. Fish out. Big strawberry grouper. Is it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Big old strawberry grouper. Nice fish, Lane. Wow, it's a red. Red grouper. Big red. Wow. Come here, buddy. Come on. Thank you, my man. I got the hook out of the way. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at his mouth. Look how red it is in there. That's a beauty. red grouper. We can't keep him, can we? No. We're not keeping anything. We oh. let him go, even if he was in season. But it's closed now to what, May 1st? 17 tacos. Yeah, but I know. We're going to let him go. He'll be 18 tacos in a week. Seven feet of water right here. <laughs> Good job, my man. Thank you, sir. Typically, George and Lane are fishing with traditional tackle. But this morning, Lane has a little challenge for George to see if he can catch a fish with a fly rod. I'll admit it's been a while since I've actually thrown the fly. But if he's challenging me, we're gonna make this happen. I started out a little clumsy with the fly rod. <clears throat> Stepping on it. I can't help it, I have big feet. But as time went by, I got a little bit better and better and it all came back to me. It's just like riding a bike. After a few minutes, George actually gets a take on that fly. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that? Lane, boom, fish out on the fly rod, baby. So much fun on this light fly gear. Got like an eight weight, nine weight on Nine there. weight, just, you know. He's the perfect size, Lane. I agree. You know, I can have so much fun with these fish here. Little, little tarpon. I'm telling you what. Think about 20 pounds. Uh, oh, sweet. Nice. What do you think, Lane? I like it, my friend. You're multifaceted, George. You know that? It's because I'm a purist. You are a purist. I don't do a ton of fly fishing. I enjoy it. Yeah, I can tell you don't do much fly fishing. What's that supposed to mean? Tarpon are an incredible sport fish. Nice, boat. nice. People come from all over the world just to target one and catch one. How about that, George? That is awesome, man. How about that, my man? Let's see if we can. I like catching them this size just as much as catching the big ones. I, I like these better. They live to be 40 plus years old, so we do everything we can to revive the fish and let them go on their way, and that way we can catch them again. Got Thanks. a little gulp of air. Thanks, Let's buddy. Thank you. The Fish Guys are being brought to you by Wellcraft, equipped for fishing, crafted for comfort. Tough Coat, Tough Coat Marine for the world's number one non skid coating for boats, decks, and docks. Jefferson's Bourbon. Transform corn to get bourbon. Transform bourbon, get Jefferson's. Cooler webs, don't get soggy. Kaisek, the ultimate ice chest. Living here in the Florida Keys, there's always something to do because this is a tourist destination. And sometimes, George and I take short outings. It gets us out off the water so we can go do some cool stuff. Today, I got a little surprise for my buddy George. I got something for you, my friend. All I'm gonna tell you is one time you said that you had shark DNA. I do have shark DNA. I got something for you. I would have never thought it. 
aquarium encounters and marathon, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is all about you today, George. Hey, all guys. About you. Hey, Lane Goodwin. Ben Daughtry. Nice Welcome to, to Florida today. Keys Aquarium Encounters. George Clark. Nice How to meet you, George. Very good, because we're going to show you what Florida Keys Aquarium Encounters is all about. It's an interactive aquarium. It's the largest aquarium in the Florida Keys, and it's one of the only interactive aquariums in the entire country. Perfect for kids. Perfect big, for kids. Big and small. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. We're let's excited. Go. Let's go check it out. This place is awesome. They've got an interactive aquarium just loaded with sea light. Whoa. Guys, this is our main display tank. This is our 200,000 gallon tank. That's a big swimming pool, isn't it? Big. Not only do we have the largest tiki huts in the Florida Keys, but everything is custom from the non-skid tough coat on the deck all the way to the ceilings. Everything's custom. This is a big tank separated by a clear plexiglass wall. One side has our native species, the other side, it's got predators. The cool thing is you can actually feed the sharks through little holes in the glass in the wall. The main tank that's loaded with all this sea life and crazy stuff swimming around, you can either snorkel or scuba dive, and I just can't wait to get in there. Oh, this is a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh, okay, acclimation process. This is as clean of water as you can find. Now, if I have to fart, can I do that? So after just a little bit of instruction, I actually got to go in the tank and they gave me an airline with a regulator, put some weights on me, and it took me right down where I could walk along on the bottom. I mean, when I got to the predator tank, I could actually push fish through a little hole and these sharks would come down and grab it right, right, almost right out of your hand. And then I got to feed this giant green moray. How cool is that to be that close and be safe? The layout of the aquarium encounters is impressive. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Watch your hand. <laughs> There's a lot of interactive exhibits. It'd be funny if the little tail started wiggling, you know, like dogs <laughs> right. do. This place, you could spend all day there. Isn't this cool, George? George. I think George really enjoyed his field trip today. Come on, George. <laughs> he did good all day, but you know eventually something was going to happen. George, what are you doing? I'm fishing. You can't fish here. I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite right it's now. An Let's I'm go. Get... Why hang on, you hang even on. get a fishing rod? I got one. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Oh. It's a taco rich environment. All I wanted to do was catch a couple. It's the end of the day, the fish are feeding, and it's times like this that you can catch some quality fish. Fish on. Oh, little little snook. snook. Little snook. Love it. When it turns on, <laughs> it's on. Nice job, bud. Get that hook off of you, pal. Look at that. This time of the evening, most boats are heading back to the dock. Not George and I. The snook are chewing, and we're fishing. Right there, bud. Oh, right same. there. The shells. Oh, God. Oh, God. It is a big God. one. Doing a good job, bud. Yeah, yeah. Just keep bringing me in the trees. That's helping. God, I'm screwed. Go man. over top. Go over top. Up top. He's underneath this tree. I know, but you got to go over top. There he is. He's swimming out. Big snook. Big oh. snook. Oh, he's nice. He's out in the middle now, bud. I need Not the net. Long. The net's in here in the middle. Uh oh, 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 he sees freedom, he sees freedom. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Last cast of the day, my man. That's a friggin' slob. That's a nice one, my man. I'd say a good solid nine pound fish. Yeah, I would say Maybe more 10. like 15 or 20 pounds. Well, you can go, with, yeah, we won't weigh it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice, nice. Can we keep it? No, we letting it go. Damn, man. We're letting it go. Um, we're letting it go. It is I snook know. season. He's got to be over 28 and under 33. <clears throat> but guess what? We're letting you it know. go. You're I'm not even going to say You're eating hamburgers I'm not even going to say it, but you know how many tacos All right, let's get him back in the water. That's a lot of tacos, dude. They spawn in the summertime. She's getting ready to spawn. Look at her go, huh? 
That All was right, fun. Sun is setting. We're out of here. Let's Time to it. go eat. I'm hungry. All right. Even though Lane hasn't let George keep any fish today, and fish tacos are on his mind, it's always a pleasure to meet up with Chef Bobby Stokey at Sundowners for some great cooking tips. Wow, great day fishing in Biscayne Bay, huh? Great day, Bobby. Great I mean, day. plethora of species, grouper, snapper, snook, mackerel, what a tarpon. Just about everything you can get, yep. right? Well, we got mango snapper, and that's one of my favorite fish, so we got it right here today. Super easy to make, just stuff that's in your pantry. So it's whatever you got. The first thing you're gonna start off with is, is a little bit of mayo. I already put a little bit of mayo down on the foil and a little bit of salt and pepper. You're just gonna spread that out on there. A little salt, a little pepper. Whatever vegetables you got, just chop those up, okay? Put them right on top, all right? And that's all you're gonna Some do. Zucchini, you go. carrots, zucchini, I mean, carrots. whatever you have. That's... Uh, lemons, most important, you put the lemons, okay? Because you can eat these lemons once they're cooked, all right? A so, little bit of garlic. And then, of course, it always helps start off with a great bourbon from our friends at Jefferson's Ocean Bourbon. We're gonna put that right on top of there, just like that. Oh, nice. Wrap it up, put it in a 350 oven, should come out looking something like this right here. All right. All right. Super easy, you can do it on the grill, on the fire, whatever you got. <laughs> Bobby, that wow. is absolutely incredible, Bob. This is killer. Any white fish does it, perfect recipe. Oh my gosh. Great day, guys, of fishing. Oh, look at how beautiful. Lane. Chef Bobby Stokey, Sundowners Restaurant. Thanks, Absolutely Bob. amazing. Tight lines, fish guys. <laughs>